Thank you, Tommy. Now, whether you're heading out or staying in to watch the game this evening, we're looking at the perfect wine to keep you company. Yes, and with Ireland taking on France, it's the perfect excuse to check out mm. some French vino. Wine expert David Wheelhan joins us now with his top picks. Good morning, David. How, Good morning, are, you? Guys. Hi, David. How are you? So we've say, we've I'm got sure three wines. We've right? three wines, and the people that were talking at the airport were so excited about the wines that they were going to encounter over in La Belle France. Really? So here is one of the classic offerings that they keep an eye out for, and it's a nice um, Maconnet wine. So what we're looking at is yeah, the seen. Chardonnay from South Burgundy, and Chardonnay is going to be the grape of the year in Ireland 2018. Uh, so this is. Are you making a bold prediction oh, there? No, no, it's not even bold. It's, it's absolutely guaranteed. It's <laughs> happening, it's, it's, it's happening, it as, happening. As, as we speak because people are realising that Chardonnay has many guises. And this one from Maconnet, most Macon Villages, Macon Loonies, um, they'll always be lovely, fresh, crisp, unoaked styles of Chardonnay. And it's delicious. So what do you think of that? Now, I'm going to watch you all very closely. So with my cultured palate now, having won the wine challenge recently on the show... Oh, I'm we'll gonna, never hear the end of this. Well, no, total fluke. I'm going to say that this is... It's a white... <laughs> um, and I'm getting. Uh, You're so smart. What are you getting? What kind of nose? It's not a very floral nose. No, no, it's it's no, it's it's what we call stone David's fruits. Face is horrified. No, yeah, no, yeah. but I said it's not a very. Are you right? Am I right? It's you, not you, very you floral. You would arguably be right. Arguably, arguably be right. <laughs> I think it's <laughs> on a good day. It is. It's lovely, fresh and crisp, and whatever. And the most important thing when we're looking at the white wines is that, that it's fresh. Mm. So you notice that this is vintage 2016, which is what you want with the white wines. Okay. So if you're in, in France, you could ask, say, vous avez un, un bon macronet, and um, so you you won't be paying a fortune, and mm. it'll be very delectable, and it should be under 20 euros. Très joli, David. C'est très joli. Oui. Merci. And what does that retail at, this David? One, this one retails at 17 95 That's lovely. Do you like that, Laura? Um, I do like it, and I think... I'm not a huge Chardonnay mm. fan. I usually go for Sauvignon, but actually I think it's very fresh. It is fresh and crisp nice. and dry and quite delicious. And mm. no matter whether you're in Ireland or France, you'll find a version of this somewhere There's in the country. There's a lightness to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's very hard for you as an expert to whittle it down. We were talking about French mm. wines just to three. Sure. No, no, it's, it's desperately hard. Mm. And, of course, you know, if, if really push comes to shove, France does make arguably the best wines in the world. Mm. I have to go on there and say that because mm. in all the appellations they have all the grapes cornered mm. off nicely. So what should you choose? But I decided given that we're over in France and we didn't want to break the bank, we want to keep some money for the Irish economy, well, I thought <laughs> people should try a little bit of Côte de Rome because Côte ah, de Rome is de Rome, always yeah. good, good um, it's always um, good value, it's always packed with flavour okay. and it's going to be say, juicy now this it's, one. It's juicy and they're always about 14.5% of alcohol and with your Coq au vin this would be a natural match as well. So oh, you want a nice, rich, juicy Grenache. And I say, it's a real crowd-pleasing wine and it'll never cost a fortune. So if you're, if you're given a menu, vous avez un bon Côte d'Orone, s'il vous plaît, and off you go. Vous avez un bon Côte d'Orone. Voilà. Mm. And of course, rouge. Make sure you put in rouge, otherwise you might end up with a white with one. White. But you'd be happy either way. I would describe that as fruity. Well, that's very apt, but uh, you, have to, you. you have to dig a little bit deeper, though, to get well, points. Looking for a little more... <laughs> well, a little bit more, more, more help on that food. Getting various types of fruit off it. Yeah. <laughs> Berry? Berries? Berries, exactly, yeah. Spicy as well. Soft red fruits, fruits, fruits and a little bit of spice coming in yeah. from, from the Syrah grape as well. It's, it's, it's a long aftertaste. It's, 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 yeah, it's got a good long mm, finish. Yeah. This is made by Christian Vaux, a very famous winemaker. Right, okay. It was actually based in Segaray. And what sort of damage will that do to your This will be fourteen ninety five a bottle. But as I say, no matter where you are in the country, you will find coke. Rhone, and certainly in France you'll find Cote Rhone at a good good price. <coughs> because, lovely. And now we're going to go into Poyac. So we're in so Bordeaux. We're going a little more indulgent we're, here, David. We're going David. to Bordeaux and we're going to the most famous appellation in Bordeaux, which is Poyac. Look way David pours the wine. And yeah, it's as awesome. I know, like my shoe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> now, Especially by the third bottle. Now, what's this, David? My, so with, with this, you're experiencing a blend of grapes, but this is going to be predominantly Cabernet Sauvignon grape. Now, my, my absolute warning to people out there is when you're given a carte du vin in France, really study it closely because you might think that 2017 is the year, mm. but it could actually be the price because wine in France can be unbelievably expensive depending on the wine and whatever. So you, you have to be really careful what you yes. order. So study the, the menu studiously. But if you want a good expression of Cabernet Sauvignon, you go to Poyac. Now this is a food wine, so really we need mm. some a nice piece of beef or something like that. And this needs to breathe a little bit more. But with, with good Poyac, you're looking for cassis and pencil shavings. And it's going to have lots of acidity, a lot of tannin. It's going to absolutely torture Simon because this is going to be his, his antithesis. Do you think? Mm. I think so. We're going to watch you carefully. I but had it, the pleasure it, of going to Bordeaux years ago, and as you say, some of the wines, I couldn't get over the price. They were such great value. And then other times... They can be sta staggeringly expensive. Yeah. No. But you see that lovely like cigar box and cassis? It's just delicious. <laughs>
You see, that's very strong. Over. It's it's powerful. And it is. That is. There's a bit of a kick there, isn't it? Oh, it's, it really is. And it, it's, it's rich and it's, it's heavy, heavy, isn't it? it, it, it and price-wise, and this is thirty-three ninety-five. Rich and heavy as well. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. But you know, how much did you do? Julian, someone please here. Thirty-three ninety-five. But what's interesting about this? The alcohol is thirteen point five percent. So okay. it's not, right. not high in alcohol, but it, it's, it's heavy in flavour. I think that's delicious. So oh, it's, it's spectacular. It's very we can drink it all night. Merci, David. Merci, 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 merci so mon plaisir. With dinner. Over, yeah, with dinner over a few hours. Beautiful. Oh, David, yeah. education yeah. as always. A pleasure. Thank you very right. much. Merci. After the break, in honour of today's Gallic foes, we're cooking a classic French recipe. Ooh la la.